That is not a big mess. Why was it a big mess? It's just a recycling. Orders have captivated television audiences, but beneath all the collectibles and piles of garbage is a real problem. Okay, now we're going in. The unsanitary conditions at this California home caused the owner to become sick and hospitalized. This is the master bedroom. That's where the owner sleeps. And look at what's surrounding him. Inside Edition's Jim Murray had to suit up to go inside with the crew tasked with cleaning the space. The unit is full of cockroaches, silverfish, and lots of spiders. The owner hadn't cleaned up his place in 40 years, but some items were surprisingly well preserved. Oh my gosh, isn't that one? So it's like a time capsule, this room. We see this all the time. You got nothing to say about it. This New York woman's hoarding problem extended beyond the walls of her house and into her front yard, concerning her neighbors. The city issued her numerous violations, adding up to more than $300,000. Please, I'm begging you, clean up. She got into daily fights with her neighbors who couldn't stand the sight or smell of the mess. They also questioned how safe the situation was. I mean, it's a fire hazard. If a fire starts right there, you just could imagine. We're right there, it's gonna burn the house down. Reports say days later, a cleaning crew hauled away 40 tons of trash from the home. But a hoarder in San Diego actually took over someone else's home with her habit. Cheryl Sherell moved into the home to help Fran Breslauer care for her husband, Alan. It's incredibly traumatic. We all feel violated, but my mother especially. But after Alan died, Sherell refused to move out. Instead, she started moving her stuff in. 90-year-old Fran couldn't take the growing piles of stuff and moved out of the home she loved and cared for for 60 years. My mother created this house, she designed it. My mother and father cared for it like a third child. Fran's daughter Jan is a lawyer and spent months trying to legally get Sherelle out of her parents' home. When the day finally came, she couldn't believe the condition it was in. Dog pee all over the carpet, there's dog poop on the floor, there's detritus everywhere. She's made a shambles of the place. It's, it's pretty disgusting. Sherelle pleaded guilty to one count of trespassing, but was spared jail time. The judge also ordered her to stay away from the Breslauer family. And a couple in San Diego was hoarding dogs. More than 170 of them in cramped, unsanitary conditions in several locations. Guilty, Your Honor. Guilty, Your Honor. The couple pleaded guilty in 2017 to animal neglect and was barred from owning pets for 10 years according to the terms of their plea agreement. Then it was up to the local Humane Society to find loving homes for these animals. Get your toy. Yeah, get that toy, Lucy. A 12-year-old dog named Lucy found a home with Courtney Oder. Say hello. Who says they are loving life together. This little tongue right here is the reason that I fell in love with her. This little thing that just sticks out. But this is Lucy. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.